Hi, this is Greg Johnson. Um, I'm here to answer the question, what is the altered scale? Now, if you're a student at USC and you're in the jazz elements classes, you know that Bob Mincer and I are always telling you to play this scale. So I figured I'd make a video just explaining where it came from, how to use it, and later how to practice it. Um, the answer to this question, what is the altered scale, is it's one of two dominating chromatic sounds that we can put over dominant chords. Um, the other, of course, being the diminished dominant scale or the half hold diminished scale, as it's also called. Now, the altered scale has three main nicknames. One, the super Locrian scale. Two, the diminished whole tone scale. Three, the altered dominant scale. As we know, the Locrian scale is the seventh mode of the major scale. The super Locrian scale is simply the seventh mode of the melodic minor scale. Um, now, in classical theory, the melodic minor scale features the raised sixth and seventh degrees on the way up and the flatted sixth and seventh degrees on the way down. Um, in jazz, we take the ascending version, so it features the natural six and the major seven and we skip out on the descending version and we can talk about why that is a little later uh, but for the sake of time we'll go with the ascending version of the classical melodic minor which we call jazz minor. Now being the seventh mode of the melodic minor scale we can always see the root of the altered scale and think up a half step and playing the melodic minor scale. So for example, if you see B7 alt, you can think, well, up a half step to C and play the melodic minor starting on C. So if you see A7 alt, think B flat melodic minor. If you see G7 alt, think A flat melodic minor. Um, and so on and so on. Now, the reason for the name Super Locrian uh, comes from the comparison to its relative Locrian scale. Now if we take an example in C, the Locrian scale in C outlines the notes of D flat major. Now all of those notes are flatted except for the third of D flat major which is F. So it's C, D flat, E flat, F, G flat, A flat, B flat, C. Now in the super Locrian scale we flat that F. We're thinking D flat melodic minor now. So every single note in the scale except for the C is flatted, thus the name super Locrian. The diminished whole tone approach is great for people who think intervallically. Simply put, the first four notes are from the half whole diminished scale, and the second four notes are from the whole tone scale. So when you combine them, you get the diminished whole tone scale. The final name for this scale is the altered dominant scale. Now uh, there are four notes that can be altered in a dominant scale. The ninth degree can both be flatted and sharped, so we'll see flat nine and sharp nine. The fourth degree or eleventh degree can be sharped. We call this the sharp eleven. Finally, the 6th degree can be flatted, which we'll see as flat 13, flat 6, or sometimes sharp 5. Um, so, the altered dominant scale features all of these alterations. So we'll see the flat 9, sharp 9, sharp 11, and flat 13, or sharp 5. Now, the altered scale can be notated with a plus sign after a dominant chord. So you'll see D7 plus or C7 plus. Um, it's also in the broad category of sharp nine chords. Um, though this also overlaps with the diminished dominant chord, it's always an option if you see B flat seven sharp nine. Um, one way to make yourself absolutely clear when you're notating an altered chord is to use the sharp five plus another extension that we covered. So you could say, sharp 9, sharp 5, or sharp 5, sharp 11. 
Um, this keeps it from being mixed up with the diminished dominant scale, which has a natural fifth and sixth degree. Now the one way to make yourself absolutely unmistakably clear is just to write E7 alt ALT after the dominant chord. Stay tuned for another video on how to practice this scale and scales in general.